We have to identify where the shit lines up, right? And I, I compared to the picture, but if you look, like on this, this is a wood plank, you can actually see where the seams line up, right? Because like, let me try to zoom in to show. But we can figure out where exactly it's going on here. It's weird, like you can kind of see the ends of the boards there. That's how we decide where it is going to align. But as I say, it, it probably warp when it printed, so we're gonna have to find a way to fill that gap, and that is what we will do. What you wanna do here, is you want to mark where the actual piece sits flush and I use this little pen to do so and the reason I did that we're going to lay an initial seam of super glue where there is not a gap to hold we're gonna super glue little seam baking soda get it super hard and then once it is as secure as it can be then we will attempt to start the gap fill so as we have adhered as I spoke about before now it is already adhered so the next thing to do is like I said you're gonna fill with your super glue and your baking soda and you fill these cracks in and what I did specifically it is the underside of the model I do this because people's eyes are not going to see the underside of the motherfucking model because you want to make sure that your connection is made down there and we're going to sand it it's it's still not going to look like poopy but you do it down there underneath your model versus up top because you don't want people seeing your fuck ups it'll be hidden Unless, you know, someone at your D&D, &D, if someone shows up at your campaign and they're like, oh, it looks like shit on the underside. Well, you're probably the last person I invited to the party, Deborah. Shut the fuck up. Go home. Don't be a Deborah. You know? So, like, it'll be hidden under here for the relative purposes of the gap fillage. And like I said, it, once it dries, we're going to sand it down. And what I'll do is I'm going to sand it flat, and then I'm going to take a, like, a tinier bit. And I'm actually going to try to fudge some wood grain. Really, I'm hoping that I can achieve the look of, like, no fuck-up happen here, is the, is the hope. And if there is a little bit of a fuck up -ery, it's under the model. It's on the underside. So nobody sees it, so who gives a shit? And I have done as I had stated, and I did stuff. So, like I said, I uh, used a couple different bits to just kind of, like, sand it down to get it, like, the shape of the board the way it's supposed to be. Went in after the fact, used a kind of, like, a blade... Uh, Dremel bit to simulate said wood grain and I mean it ain't perfect perfect right but like this doesn't even have paint on it yet so like a couple coats of paint will make it look even cleaner so we achieve said effect so then you know now that piece it's rock solid baking soda plus super glue makes a super powerful bond it like lengthens the polymer chains if I understand correctly and makes a better way to hold your shit together so it don't break off in the middle of your game and you're all upset and uh, also, like I said, it sands well, it grinds well with a Dremel, and then and put it on you there, and there's your back porch, you can sit on there and have you some little sweet tea, have you some fucking sweet tea, Deborah. And that's one part of the, the, the turtle house. And uh, we're printing more of it, so it'll go as we go, and I'll do some more work on the body.